to the Shadow Graph Photographic Case Studies, Episode 3. In the first segment, I thought I'd go to a legend of photography, Stephen Shore. So these popped up on Instagram, these photos that he shot. You can follow him on Instagram at stephen.shore. I mean, there's something about old photos too that you can just tell they're older and they're just like super rad. But it's a good reminder just to make these photos, these kinds of photos, even if it's like things are kind of modern right now, they might not be. And I'm, that's something I need to remind myself all the time. And I'm still not good at it. But it's like seeing this is like, I need to get way better at just just shooting more photos. I'm kind of good at like shooting out on the road uh, so, somewhat. I shouldn't even say I'm kind of good at it. I, I need to do it probably um, with more like looking for things. Um, but especially like like say like stuff like this, I I need to start like photographing more of those types of things. This is a rad one. I, I feel like I, I shot a photo not like this, but somewhat like this uh, before. But this is such a cool photo. This is just another one of those things too, where like you're at a spot and like, I don't know, so much different too. Like, like this photo does not exist anymore. I mean, maybe, maybe in the middle of nowhere, there's a like hotel or something that still has a TV like that. I don't, I doubt it, but maybe. But it's a, anymore, it's just like a TV on a, a you know, sitting on a table. But again. Maybe you make that photo today, maybe in, you know, 40 years, it's just VR only. So it's like, ah, oh, man, remember those TVs we still watch? Again, that's at Stephen.Shore on Instagram. So this next segment is really hilarious and random. It's basically like a selfie and a photo. It's, so this was posted by, on Instagram, at ATATF. The selfie and photo were posted by at JoshGB underscore. And so this is like, you know, it's what I ordered, you know, this mask first, what I got. And this is what he got. <laughs> I just think it's just like, so hilarious. Like what I ordered versus what I got. Like, that's so good. I just love this. Like, this is just like a, a selfie that would be rad in a photo book. Cause it just like, you're like, what's going on here? And then here's the other photo as well. It's just, just chilling with it on. But I thought that was a really random and hilarious. Like I was, I was cracking up when I saw this. So good. Again, original uh, post was at Josh GB underscore. And after that last segment, I thought I'd go into a really good kind of motivating type thing for making photo projects or just making photos in general. So these photos here are by David Lynch. He shot a lot of factory stuff um, back in the day, and these. These three especially, I really liked. There's something about this one that looks real crazy. All of them look good, but like this, this one looks just something about it. looks kind of awesome. But there's a quote here that I want to say that from David Lynch that, again, will get you hyped up just to, to make something. So this is, this is like a kind of condensed up quote from a, a big answer, I think, in an interview. It's basically what I, but I like got it down to the photography aspect of it. So I'm, I'm basically starting mid kind of quote. And photography is, you know, way cheap. So if I have an idea, there's really nothing to be afraid of. And what that did for me is, you know, when I'm doing these photo projects, when I'm thinking about a project, like it's, photography is way cheap. I'm, I'm shooting digital. I can understand if you're doing it in a different way, but like I'm shooting digital, it's way cheap. Like it's just getting to a place, you know, it's made some gas money. It's, it's, it's way cheap. So it's just make the project, especially if I'm working with my archive, just work with the archive, it's way cheap. Like it's it's funny how you can get caught up or at least I can get caught up in these arbitrary thoughts that get in the way. So really it's just a great reminder to make things happen. Thanks for tuning into episode three of The Shadow Graph. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button. See you in the next video.